In this example, we have a post AC that is sticking out of the ground. Attached to it is a wire BD. That keeps the pole from falling over. The angle that the wire makes with the pole is 38 degrees. We will call the force that runs through the wire force P, which is obviously a tension force, right? We also know that force P has a horizontal component that is directed perpendicular to the pole AC. This component has a value of 120 newtons. Our job here is to find the vertical component of force P and the magnitude of force P. The first thing we want to do is draw a free body diagram of the situation. We know that the wire is applying a tension force that is keeping the pole from falling. We also know that ho the horizontal component of force P is perpendicular to the pole and is directed toward the right. We also know that there is a vertical component of P that is directed vertically down from the tip of PX to the tip of P. We don't know what the value of this component is right now, but we do know that these two components of P make a triangle, which is something we can work with. Finally, since this angle here we know is 38 degrees, we can easy, easily calculate this angle to be 52 degrees. Why? Because we were already told that the horizontal component of P, PX, is perpendicular to the pole. In other words, PX makes a 90 degree angle with the vertical pole. Now that we have our free body diagram drawn, I'll get rid of the diagram on the left and we can continue to use what we know about trigonometry, unit vectors, and components to solve our problem. Now, the first thing we need to do is to find the vertical component PY. Since the components of P make a right triangle with force P, we can use trigonometry to solve for PY. The tangent of theta, in this case the 52 degrees, is equal to the opposite side over the adjacent side. In other words, tangent of 52 degrees is equal to the magnitudes PY over PX. We don't know what PY is, but we do know that PX is equal to 120 newtons. If we solve for PY, we find that the magnitude of PY is 153.6 newtons. Awesome! We know the magnitude of PY, and we also know the directions of PX and PY. PX is directed along the positive x-axis, and PY is directed along the negative x, I'm sorry, the negative y-axis. That means the force P is equal to PXI plus PYJ, which is really 120 newtons in the I direction, and 153.6 newtons in the negative j direction. Alright, so the last thing we need to figure out is the magnitude of force P. Well, we already know the magnitude of the components PX and PY. Since these components are orthogonal to one another and form a right triangle with force P, we can find the magnitude of P by taking the root sum square of the components PX and PY. If we plug in 120 newtons for PX and 153.6 newtons for PY, and remember these are magnitudes of PX and PY, we find that the magnitude of force P that is pulling on the pole is equal to 194.9 newtons.